But I thought the poor swing cushion monster was working for the grand stick. I better get all the leash members together to prepare. Okay, sticks. You heard him. Let's attack. I see leash. Let's get him. Let's go, leash members. Here comes that stick army. Let's go and get him. Whoa, that's a real cliffhanger, wasn't it? Well, we'll get back to that in just a minute. But first, I wanted to say thank you to a lot of people who have written me letters. Here are some of them. Dear Tug, I'm not sure how I came across your website, but I am so glad I did. I am so glad you have a mom and a dad who never gave up on you. I love reading your updates every day. I think they meant pup dates. They are always positive and clever. I love hearing all your accomplishments. I love hearing how you help others. I believe you have a special way with others. I hope to meet you sometime. I love that you want to help others and have special projects that you care about deeply. Dear Tug, watching your page every day on Facebook has literally saved my life. I have been through so much in life that I was strongly considering putting an end to my pain. But then I saw your story and all that you've been through. If you could make it through all of that and turn out to be so beautiful and a superhero, then I know I can wake up each new day and continue on. Thank you so much for saving my life. Dear Tug, one evening while cruising Facebook, I saw where one of my friends had friended a little bull terrier puppy named Tug. I went to your page and read about what you had been up to and what a miserable life for you. And my heart immediately went out to you. I wasted no time friending you. You bring me daily dose of sunshine to my otherwise hurting heart. Your daily adventures and good deeds makes you so deserving of your ACE award. God bless you little Tug. You are truly God's gift. Tug, I fell in love with you at first sight. Your two-legged humans have done amazing education and outreach through you. Thanks to your indomitable spirit and genuine goodness. I am so proud of you and the message you send to everyone. One of my dog buddies got a photo taken with you just because I asked them to. You are my hero in so many ways. Dear Tug, I love hearing all about you and reading your pup dates. They always make me smile. You cheer me up at breakfast when I dread going to work. I don't remember how exactly I stumbled on Tug's story. But from the moment I saw his picture as a tiny pup, my heart ached and tears welled from the place only animal lovers know. The two of you opened your hearts and home to this little bundle of love and saw what some cannot see. And now the world is a kinder place to be. That you make so much time for your busy lives to spread Tug's love, joy, and enthusiasm is so very admirable. Tug and the two of you are truly everyday heroes in every way. Many thanks for all that you do. You know, one of the really cool things about having a web series is that you have friends that have bands and they do the theme music for you. And it's really, really good. Here are some of the thoughts behind the theme music for my series. Writing the music for a Tug the Bull Terrier series was a lot of fun. We had a great time being in the studio together. But where the theme came from is from that cocky little strut that a Bull Terrier does that kind of, you know, I mean, it was tug walking. It, that, that's kind of what you see in the first of the videos, and that's that's where, where the music came from. All in all, it was it was all tug.
tug. My wife and I run a bull terrier rescue. Over the years, we have seen it all, good and bad. We moved some years ago so we can have a kennel to help more bullies. At times, it seems to overwhelm us. Some dogs are lifers here, and we need to do our best to help any bull terrier in need out there. You always give us a lift when we get down, put a smile on our faces, and lighten the load. We love what you're doing for dogs everywhere. Keep it up. Dear Tug, I found your website trolling through the internet looking for an uplifting story. You see, Tug, my parents are in their 80s. Their health isn't very good. My friend, where I board my horse, was recently diagnosed with lung cancer and has mets to her brain and colon, so her time is limited. Then I found your story and saw your pics. First, I was really angry. How could anyone let you get in that kind of shape? Your little eyes swollen shut. Then to put you in a blanket and stake you down next to the side of the road in Texas in July? Well, I was so angry and sad, I started to cry. I cried, and I cried, and I cried some more. Then, when I saw you in your superhero outfit, I smiled. And when you fought the stick monster, I laughed a little. I realized I needed to cry for my folks, for my friend, all the horses, and for you. I realized and really knew it all along that even though people can be really evil, there are also some people who reach out and help. People like your folks, Tug. Your website lifts my spirits. You and Ajax and Ducky, your antics, your battles, and your victories. Thank you, Tug. You are possum. I can't remember exactly how I found Tug's page, but that little sweetie just made my heart melt. I do cat rescue, and I have seen many cats who are deemed unadoptable by a shelter. They blossom into happy, healthy cats. Thank you for taking a chance on this boy. We need to stop looking for reasons to give up on animals and start looking for reasons to hope. Tug symbolizes that notion for me. The day I saw a friend of mine add Tug the Bull Terrier, I had to add him too. I saw a picture of Tug and read about how you found him, and honestly, it broke my heart. I thought, they must be wonderful people. It is such a shame that there are such horrible people out there in the world that can dump a dog and leave it to die, but thank God you found him. I have watched him grow and become better with your help. He looks perfect now. You are really passionate about him with regular pup dates and pics of him, promoting the breed which I think is fantastic. Since then, I have smiled, cried, and laughed at the statuses and updates you type. You do a fantastic job. I love Tug. I really do. And therefore, I love you too for bringing Tug into my life and heart. My dearest Tug, there is so much cruelty in this role that the good of humanity is often overshadowed. Personally, I need more positive stories in my life like yours because that is how I am able to maintain a positive outlook I try so hard to live by. Your story inspires me because it shows how much you can overcome. You fought through illness to be where you are today with a loving family. I guess we never really got back to that cliffhanger ending from the last episode, did we? Wow, and it's a really good cliffhanger too. It's almost like a season finale cliffhanger. You know what? Maybe I should make it a season finale cliffhanger. There you go. There's your cliffhanger. If you want to see how it turns out, guess you got to come back next season. I woof you all. Bye-bye.
And now for today's knock knock joke. Ready? Knock knock. Who's there? Yodelehi. Yodelehi who? I didn't know you could yodel. Ha ha! I woof you. Bye bye.